for right now. So we've made a backup. Now what I'm going to do is drop a database. To do that, we can click on Home here, Databases. I'm going to go to my Gallery 2 database that I just made a backup of. And I'm going to click this little button here that's kind of hidden and kind of hard to see, but that allows you to drop the databases. With PHP My Admin, it, it also tries to prevent you from messing yourself up with uh, databases. Whenever you drop a database, it always confirms it. So we're going to click Drop here. And it says, hey, you're about to destroy a complete database. Do you really want to drop database gallery 2? We're going to select yes. So now it's been dropped. It's no longer in our database list here. Now we're going to go to the import tab. Go ahead and click browse here. We're going to go back to our desktop and hit open. And then we're going to click go. In this instance, um, with PHP My Admin, it's basically complaining that a database is not currently selected. A quick fix around that is to go to your home, create the database, Gallery 2. Now that we're back in it, we can import. So we're just going to go back to there. And go ahead and click go. And bingo, we've got all of our tables right back the way they used to be. So basically with PHP My Admin, it offers a graphical user interface to a lot of the common administrative tasks that we have to do on a daily basis. Backing up databases, restoring databases, creating new databases, and especially with web applications, creating a new database and then assigning a new user full control of that database. But we're going to go ahead and log off here real quick, and I want to show you what that test12 user is actually able to do here. So we're going to click log out. Now we're going to log in as test12. And as you can see, straight off the get-go, create new database, I've got no privileges to do that. I can go under test here, and I can create a new table. Go ahead and do this here real quick. Bingo, I've got my table. I can make modifications to this test database, but not anything else. If I go back to home here, under databases, or I'm sorry, under SQL, and I try to create a database test, uh, three, four, five, six, seven here, and click go. PHP admin is going to say access denied. So it's one of the nice things about PHP My Admin. It makes creating a secure environment really easy for you. Um, and we've basically touched over most of the useful functions with PHP My Admin for doing really quick and easy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here today. Uh, again, my name is Christopher J. Pace. I am a freelance Linux consultant. Uh, feel free to w visit my website at linuxconsultant.info. And thank you for watching this video today. Goodbye.